Hi friends, this is Miss Lindsay. Um, today we're going to read Giraffes Can't Dance. Do you know where giraffes live? Yes, and monkeys too? Yeah, you can see them both at the zoo, huh? We have a giraffe named Gerald. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh no, look, he fell down. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really bad. No, oh, look how sad he is, because he can't dance. The warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced to tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight bamboos then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Look, they're all laughing at him and calling him names. Is that nice? No, we should always be nice to our friends, huh? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I'm such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor, and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Look at him. He's sad. He's walking home. Feels so alone. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Ger Gerald early on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Oh, look at his cricket friend. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music, those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing around. Look, friends, he's dancing. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Look at him. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Look how happy he is. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Jared boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we ever did see. Look at him. They love his dance moves. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with the bow. Oh, look, they're throwing flowers at him because he danced so good. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. Well, all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Friends, I'm here to tell you that you can do anything that you set your mind to, just like Gerald. 
he didn't believe in himself and think that he could do it. And then a cricket told him and they talked about it and he put his mind to it and he danced. Thanks for reading with me. Goodbye.